Hello John. Hello Oliver. Today we're going to talk about your new painting. Yes, this now is a painting of Saint Michel, um, a famous abbey in France. Uh, this abbey was established nearly a thousand years ago and it was, you can see a boat there, it was actually, you had to go across to it by boat. Uh, but now um, the sea has receded and the sheep are not grazing there the way they were those times when that painting was done. Uh, that's a copy of a painting I did. And uh, now you park, if you're driving, which we were at the time, you park your vehicle in a car park. You pay substantially for that when you're leaving. And then there's a free bus bring you to San Michel. Bring you to, and then you walk up and it's quite steep. And as you're going up there, uh, there's shops and restaurants uh, on the way up. And the restaurants are quite expensive. And so are the shops because of the difficulty and probably the goods that have to go to them that probably have to be um, hoisted up in some way or another to where these shops and places are quite an amount of them and then at the top is the abbey a famous abbey and well worth a, a visit as a matter of fact they, they have three and a half to four million visitors per, uh, per year in that visiting that many tourists from abroad including myself and my wife and then also French people who are not noted for the practice of their Catholic faith although it is practiced and uh, they visit it as well because it's a, it's a famous site and a famous uh, place for people to get some spiritual experience that's what they're going there now have we anything in this country like the three and a half to four million visitors that go to that place. We have the Pope's Cross, John. Well, we don't know what figure goes there. We know we have the Pope's Cross, and which is great, and quite a few people visit that, believe it or not, although it's never mentioned on, on the media as a place of pilgrimage. There's absolutely no facilities up at the Pope's Cross. It's Correct. Not, it's not really a place there you should go. Be, there should be some facilities there for visitors, a restaurant, or this, that, or the other. Yes. And that should be possible. I noticed the council has put trees on various sides, which prevents photographs from taking right, yeah, yeah. from different angles. So that was a very short-sighted move as well. Much like the uh, the um, monstrosity that they have in the Conestries, a steel structure going up to the sky, do nothing uh, instead of a concrete effort uh, that people could perhaps be a restaurant in it and all the rest of the mm. lifts and that, and something that would people could visit. Another opportunity missed, of course, by the Dublin County Council, the Dublin City Council, the same council now which uh, is barred from visiting Israel. It's barred. Barred, yes, because they're 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 anti-Israel, uh, pro 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 uh, Palestine and all the rest of it. So they're barred <coughs> because of their policies. I think the majority of the councillors there now are Sinn Fein, and of course uh, we know their views. Uh, now, uh, so. That's that painting, and uh, I would love if we had uh, the sort of effort in this country uh, to attract visitors uh, to uh, these famous sites that we have, not least Ballantubber Abbey in County Mayo. And funny enough, when I'm looking at that, uh, I'm just reminded of something that uh, uh, visiting the look of these places and going down this road of a spiritual development. Uh, this was some little uh, a statement uh, by a famous saint, which was uh, Saint Thomas Aquinas, uh, who died in 12, 1274. He was a Dominican priest, and uh, he remains one of the church's premier doctors. He said this about wisdom: "Among all human pursuits, the pursuit of wisdom is more perfect, more noble, more useful, and more full of joy." He says other things about it, uh, but that is the basic uh, principle that it comes out with. So when you visit places like this, when you sort of try to develop that side of your nature uh, that seeks uh, wisdom, well then you're on the right track. Uh, to pursue other uh, avenues like the pursuit of money, uh, which uh, you can't, you know, which doesn't give the satisfaction that it's supposed to, uh, but 
uh, most of us, what we pursue is enough to live on and live and develop ourselves and have a home and all the rest of us. That's what most of us do. Uh, but uh, the pursuit of anything else, the pursuit of a hedonistic lifestyle, the pursuit of pleasure for its own sake, and the pursuit of various other <coughs> events do not give satisfaction. <coughs> Irish people are queuing up to visit, to go to various concerts and uh, events in which people are standing up, uh, to my opinion, yelling. Uh, remind me of a dog. Uh, that perhaps is in the hilling mood. That's what it reminds me of. But that's what they visit. And they're paying 150 euros per ticket. And plus whatever else they spend mm -hmm. and visiting these. They're going down and, and, and going to some events in the country and sleeping in tents and God knows what uh, what's going on. Uh, that leads to unhappiness. And they can look as if they're gleeful and happy as they did after this referendum that uh, recently passed, this this dreadful abortion uh, referendum that people voted for. Now, this, they show such glee uh, that they were condemned worldwide for their terrible behaviour, celebrating abortion. It's unthinkable. And to be so happy about it, I mean, it was incredible. Well, this is it. And the, this dreadful government looking gleeful and sort of clapping themselves on the back, including this infamous Minister for Health, Harris. Uh, I hope, as I said earlier, and looking at this, <coughs> and looking at the amount of people visiting that, surely there must be people in this country that would love to vote for other parties other than what's in the, in the dawn at the present time. Thank you very much, John. Thank you very much, Oliver.